Hello again, everybody. Welcome to this tutorial series of video clips showing the Reaper uh, digital audio workstation from the Kakos Corporation. Today, we're going to be taking a look at selections and loops in Reaper because very often you're going to want to work with maybe just a small part of your project for a little while. Now, the right way to do this is you stop your playback of your project at or near the point where you want your loop to begin. And you can also select with your mouse. So, you know, we could have playback here, and maybe we want to do a loop that encompasses the introduction. If we zoom in here, we can see that I'm just going to grab from the beginning of music to the beginning of vocals and catch a little bit of the beginning of vocals. We hit play. My child Whoops. And Go ahead, hit play, and it will, because loop playback has been selected, it will come back on itself. Sleep. And there it goes. Now when you play the project, like I say, it will replay over and over again. That's known as the repeat function. And I also notice that the start and finish time and duration of the selection are shown in the transport bar, which is right over here. This is the start time of that selection. This is the end time. And that is the duration, indicating the uh, length of the uh, loop selection. Now, if you press the R key, that will toggle the repeat function on and off with no visual feedback. Well, actually, that's not true. The, pressing the R key is, is equivalent to pressing the transport button for loop playback. So I could either click here or I could hit R. But R will turn that off. There is also the option under Options Preferences on the playback page to stop playback at the end of a loop when the repeat function is disabled, which you'll notice it didn't do this time. If we turn off loop, it will just keep flying right past the border. But we can change that behavior by going to uh, Options, Preferences, Playback. Where are you, Playback? There you are. And Stop Loop, or uh, rather, excuse me, um, turn off the Repeat function. It is in here somewhere. <laughs> Stop playback at end of loop selection if repeat is disabled. Sometimes just the uh, just the length of the sentences will uh, will uh, throw you off. Sleep. So you can see there that that's a setting that you can change uh, by uh, simply using the options preferences menu. Now to change the region defined in your loop, simply repeat the uh, to uh, or rather to uh, clear the loop altogether without defining a new one. You can just press the escape key. And if you right-click in the timeline, you get a menu of commands that you can apply to the timeline or your loop selection, including zoom selection and remove selection. So let's make a quick selection here. Make another one. Whoops. There we go. Remove selection. What happened here? Remove selection. I see. Remove selection does not actually do a destructive edit. Remove selection actually just gets rid of the selection. It's the same thing as pressing escape, in other words. And if I had eyes to read, I would see that right here. Sorry about that, folks. But also, you can zoom to the selection. And this will get you uh, bracketed in tightly. Now, you notice that uh, there's a keyboard shortcut available for any command, and that shortcut is uh, displayed on the context menu. So. Don't make the same mistake I did. Take a look at the very well designed and written out menus uh, to figure out the keyboard shortcuts for specific functions. So keep your eyes open at GearWire.com for more videos in the future about Reaper and other great software. Thanks for watching.